The police chief says family members have seen all the videos, so this isn't a surprise to them. Now the police chief says after seeing a social media post and a text message, he believes the suspect, London Phillips, may be part of an anti-police group. The particular text that we looked at that this was uh, calculated was that it said wait till December. So we're certain that the individual was planning something for December. This is from December 7th, just before 10 p.m. Police say that's London Phillips in the black coat and hat walking down the sidewalk across from the Fayetteville Square. He's heading to the police department. It's hard to see, but the police SUV with the lights on is where Officer Carr was sitting in the driver's seat. The chief says Phillips shot Officer Carr 10 times in the head and says there was nothing the officer could have done. And he just surprised him and he never knew it was coming, never gave him a chance. It was a cowardly act. Phillips continued to fire his 9mm handgun into the SUV as he walked away. Police say he used a gun he legally purchased himself in 2017. Officers ran outside when they heard the gunshots. You see officers James Jennings and Carr's partner, Natalie Yusey. Moments later, she soon realized her partner had been shot. The officers chased the suspect into the alley next to the department. The chief believes Phillips was trying to target them. That's when he says his officer shot and killed the 35-year-old gunman. The whole thing lasted less than one minute. And the police chief says the videos were released for transparency so everyone can see exactly what happened. Now, the Washington County Sheriff's Department and the FBI are handling the investigation. Live in Fayetteville, Brett Rains, 4029 News.